<laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What the Duck Auto. I just messed up the first video I was, the first take, uh, and that's why I was laughing. Um, but anyways, so today we're in a Pontiac Torrent, it's an 07. It's basically the same thing I believe as an Equinox. I'll put that all in the title and everything. Um, you can see I got my power probe hooked up. Originally came in for an overheating issue. Um, I had a thermostat code and a coolant temperature code. So let me shine some light. So we went ahead and replaced the thermostat and the coolant temperature sensor down there. That's not what today is about. Today, uh, the video is another concern that the customer had and it was that the low beam headlights were not working, only the high beams. Um, you know, I took the headlights out, checked the bulbs. They're H13s or 9008s. And in order to do that, you've got to take this push pin, that push pin, and that push pin out so you can flex this grill. There's a 10 millimeter right there and two seven millimeters, one right here and one right there. Those come out, you can take the whole headlight housing out and check the bulb. That wasn't the issue. Uh, we checked some fuses. I mean, you always want to cancel out your simple. Um, and so, this fuse right here is fuse number nine, which is your uh, left-hand side low beam, and then you have your right-hand side low beam, which is number 28, which is this one. So, number nine, this 10 amp, and number 28, this 10 amp. Both those fuses are good. So, I looked on Identifix, which is what we use to help diagnose cars and there's a little test um, you can take your scan tool and go to your body control module your exterior lighting this is a snap-on Zeus you don't have to have this kind of uh, scan tool you just need one that can read different modules um, so you go to where is it low beam relay command on so right now it's off and we're going to turn the switch on and we're looking for it to command it on. That way we don't sell a multifunction switch when it doesn't need one. So we are commanding it on. This thing is sloppy. You can barely touch it. And uh, This car's got some issues. You can see we're not at 2000 RPM. I'm pretty sure it's got gas in it because I've been idling for like two hours and it said it's got no gas in it. So the next step is to remove your radio trim, you don't have to remove it all the way, you just need to undo it so we can access the body control module, which is behind it. Um, and I'll put a picture of the screen. Um, we're looking for wire, I believe it's 22 out of the 25 connector, it's either 22 or 23, the pink and white wire, and it is the only pink and white wire in your brown connector. This is the ground, this is when the body control module will ground out the relay. The relay is built into the fuse box, there is no headlight relay that you can change. If the relay is bad, you have to change the fuse box. So this is the last step in our diagnostic test. We are going to be seeing if the body control module or BCM is sending us a ground so we've got our power probe this is a 3EZ currently with our headlights off we have a 14 volt reference and when we turn them on we're looking for a ground if it grounds that wire that means that and the lights don't come on that means the relay or the fuse box is bad so we're gonna turn it on and now we're sending a ground um, so, all in all, that is just proving that the fuse box, the relay is printed into the circuit board. There's no way to swap it. It's not a physical relay like this that you can swap. This whole box has to be swapped. Hopefully this helped y'all. It's a very simple diagnostic test to run. If you have the same issue, like I said, it's a Pontiac Torrent, but it's also like a Chevrolet Equinox. This is like the first generation of them, I believe. And so I'll put the year span and everything up there. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all like these videos, if y'all hit that like button and subscribe and then hit the notification button so y'all can get notified whenever I upload all my shorts and my longer videos.